Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Winter Ember. It is by Sky Machine Studios and published by Blowfish Studios and Gamma Game. And it is scheduled for some sort of release. I don't know if it's going to be early access or otherwise. Uh, quarter two of this year. And uh, this, to me, uh, answers the question, what would the... Uh, Thief the Dark project be like if uh, you had an over, uh, you know, uh, isometric view. I guess it's not quite isometric, but a top o a top down view uh, with uh, some animated cutscenes that actually are animated pretty well. Um, I, it, it, as you might imagine, it's stealth is the game, and um, it's pretty darn good. I'm going to really have to watch my time on this because I will uh, get sucked into this and, and play it for, for a while longer than I need to, or a while longer than I have time to. So we're going to start the demo. I'm going to put 30 minutes on the clock, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to start from the beginning. <laughs> I didn't get, I got maybe like an hour or two into it, uh, but I didn't, you know, there's only, I've only been on the one map, which is like a tutorial-ish map kind of thing, so... Let's do it. This place looks like it belongs to the Maiden of Greyfern. Good evening, Master Arthur. Ladies. Good evening, Maynard. Will you and these lovely ladies be staying the night? We shall. Tell me, Maynard, is the family here? Yes, sir. Your father is in his study. Your sister is entertaining some friends. And mother? Hmm. Uh, quenching her thirst in the powder room. Figures. Mm, yes, quite. Oh, sir, your father wished to speak with you. Maynard said you wanted to see me. Can't it wait? What's your hurry? And nothing in particular. I have company. Hmm. Well, if there's nothing pressing... I'm thinking back on what it took to build everything we have. The time. The sacrifices. You know, I didn't always make the right decisions. Not by this family. Certainly not by you. What are you talking about? Is all we see or seem but a dream within a dream? Are we speaking in riddles now? Let's just say that in search of a greater heaven, I found a lower hell. Nice talking, Dad. Company calls. There just wasn't enough time. It's all gone. Hey, Arthur. Hey, are you leaving? I did not intend on staying the night. Will I see you again? Maybe. Get your rest. It was nice meeting you, Arthur. Hmm. Hmm. 
upstairs and clear every room in the hall. Arthur, where are you going this late in the night? Go back to bed. I know you. You're up to something. We spoke about this. I have to go back. My conscience won't let me rest. I'm coming with you. No, I must do this on my own. And Vesna, please don't follow me. Dudes had had a gun and decided, no, we're not going to shoot him. We're just going to beat it, beat him up. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. No place for an honest man. And uh, yeah, moving around to doing our thing here. You'll see there's a little bit of like a flash on screen whenever you get into the light versus in the dark. You can see how it kind of does that. Uh, you can also uh, alter that if it gets like annoying to you and stuff. You have an option to kind of turn that off as needed. All right. I see how I'm in control here. WSD stuff. And E to interact. Locked. Maybe the key is nearby. What's that? You! They're gonna try to teach me combat, but I'm really bad at it. Oh right, it's it's middle mouse button the block, which is weird. I feel like that should be... Let's charge rapidly press... Okay, I see. Do that. Oh. There we go. 
wine. You're a dead man. No mercy for you. Yo. All right. Hold E to pickpocket. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really bad at combat. And honestly, just like, you know, the old boss thief game, you really want to avoid combat as much as you can in this game because it, uh, it will wreck your face. Let's make sure there's nothing over here. Also, there's a bleeding mechanic, which they'll introduce a little bit later, uh, where you'll leave a blood trail behind, and people will be able to find you and stuff like that. So you gotta be there's the you know bandages that you have to use to band yourself up with, things like that. Get food over here to restore our health a little bit. Now again, this is really a tutorial map, but it's actually a pretty long tutorial map. I pick up an arrow by pressing E. Aim at the lamp using right click. Take out the lights and stuff here. For your objectives, locate board the train heading to Sing City of Argonal. Key e for this, and I'm gonna assume this guy down here has, has the key e that we're looking for. The crouching Arthur's able to sneak. Yep, we're already doing it. Clock by holding E. Pocket, I should say, by holding E. There's also stealth kills, which is also very, very apt and very good in the game. I'm very happy about that. Although I have noticed, at least in demo, that sometimes you go to stealth kill somebody and it does the opposite it just knocks them out and it there's some enemies that for some reason you just can't kill them they just they just get knocked out rather than um and it, there's no rhyme or reason to it i think it's just maybe just some like a coding error along the way well e to peek through doors or windows there you go you can peek to see what's on the other side before you pop your head in there Got all the lights. The one thing I will say it is a little bit difficult sometimes to target what you want to actually target on the screen because you kind of have to look at it. And if there's multiple things like within close proximity to one another, um, it will. It's very difficult to uh, pick the one. Sometimes you really want to do stealth kill is just cute. Him up and we'll put him in here. Yep, unconscious person is found, they'll be woken. Blood found will 
be a problem. Uh, there's nothing in this chest. Pretty sure the guy's over there. Can't see him. outside <coughs> went outside looking for me now see that time it had me as knocking him out even though I only tapped Q and I think, I think what's going on is, like, if you hold any other button, even for a little bit, it counts as a holding on the Q, even though you're not holding Q. So, I, that's my theory there. I assume that's just a bug in the demo. So, hopefully they can fix that, because I just want to murder these guys. They, the, the reason I say that is because uh, these guys seem to wake up really quickly. Like, there's, they're not out for very long. Um, like, that guy will be up and about probably very shortly, even before I'm done with tutorial bits here. And gold over there. That's why I've been murdering, because, you know, I don't want to deal with, don't want to deal with them more than I need to. I know. Okay. That requires a key. Do I? I don't have a key for it now. Yeah, food apparently. Press C to get into cover. W to peek over. Here's the guy. Need to move. can peek by the side here as well. See that time I was able to kill him by tapping by tapping Q. So I don't know whereas before it wasn't like letting me do it was insisting that that other guy was to be put to sleep so I don't know. Again don't know what the whether it's just there's some NPCs that are kind of broken right now, or what it is. The game is so good. I, I, I'm really, really enjoying it. Which is why I kind of like, I'll probably go a little bit over the time on the screen. Because there's more to the tutorial. Like, you get to like a second floor in this place. We're probably not going to make it to the second floor in this place in the 30 minutes. But I did off, you know, on, on stream and it's uh, it's really good. Now you can stare out here. And you can see, alright, so we can now jump out the window. Way there. Now they do have, and it's, it's kind of a negative... I think it's a real negative. They have save points that you have to come to. And, you know, <laughs> in the case of a game like this, I could, I, I understand the reasoning for it. I don't agree with the reasoning for it. You know, it's like, this is a PC game. We should be able to save anywhere. Um, that's just, that's always the stance I take is save everywhere. Even on consoles nowadays, you don't need to worry about hard drive space. Just, like, be able to save at any time. Well, if that makes your game a little bit easier, oh well. You know what I mean? It's not really your decision as a as the game dev as to what I can do. Uh, 
as to whether or not I want to make the game easier or not. You know? Um, so I don't like that part. It, it would be different if there were a lot of those statues hanging around, but there aren't. And you get into parts of this game, like beyond this gate here, where one mess up, you're pretty much dead, and you lose all of that progress back to here again. And it's really annoying to have to redo a huge section of any game, regardless of, you know, the type of game. So, you know, they, they really need to just kind of pull their, pull their heads out from their tuchuses and just deal with the fact that people could, should be able to save at any time for any reason. Oops, I didn't. Now, see, there was a problem where I wanted to stuff stuff out the candle, but instead I jumped out the window, right? So when you're, like, right next to something, it becomes, becomes really difficult to pick the right thing. You have to be, it's almost pixel honey. You have to be really, really precise. When you're moving around stealthy, it's kind of hard to, to do that. You're trying to be fast about things. This requires lockpick. Oh, do I have a lockpick? It says E to pick a lock. I don't think I have a lockpick. No, I don't. <laughs> He's not picking it. All right, we'll take some. Uh, we'll take some silverware. Again, we are thieves after all. mistaken there is a man that comes walking in here and he just hasn't walked in here yet oh there he is I see him hanging around over there they do have like spawn triggers when they'll spawn you know people in Taking a long way around. Here he comes. on him. There's nothing there. Whoop. Take all that. Take all that. And we'll take a peek out here. And uh, you can see the bear trap. I can see the bear trap. Unfortunately, this is the tutorial level. The game insists that we take damage. There it is. And also, this is another one of those demos where I can't turn the vibration off on the controller, even though I'm not using the controller. So, uh, you'll hear my controller uh, going around doing its thing here. I think it's bad. And then... Bandage. You see, we've bandaged ourselves up. We're not. Uh, we're not bleeding anymore. Which means we're not leaving a blood trail. That up. Now, before we go any further, I know from bad experience here. 
Uh, I can't go through that door though, can I? Alright, here's what we're going to do. We'll go back and save. Also, we'll eat stuff. Actually, there's a banana here too, right? I guess I don't need it. Back here. Dave. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there is a guy that comes walking over here. Somewhere. Yeah, there's a guy over there. And take him out just because we can. Although he's he's tricksy, he'll keep turning around looking behind himself. Come on. Lady Forbearer, keep me warm tonight. Oh, I think you're going to be very, very cold tonight, sir. Very, very cold. Yeah. yeah I wanted to pickpocket, but I didn't hold down E long enough. Over here, real fast, and then pickpocket him. Go, five gold. I don't think there's anyone else over here. Oh, there is a thing of gold there. more gold there. All the stuff we can get. Alright, now we can head back inside. Let me go save again. For sake of argument, since we're outside already. There we go. Attract unwanted attention and scare locals, and we th weaken Arthur's attacks. Okay. Here, good. Cart room. Cart room morning. Okay. Mine carts. I would like to get to a point where they show us crafting uh, arrows. Because it's, it's a really cool... Like, it, the crafting... Like, arrows were, like, a big deal in, like, the Thief games. And being able to, like, craft an arrow and stuff here, the way they, the way they handle it, is actually really, really nice. So we'll at least get to that point, so you can kind of see what, that, what that's all about. And... Close that. Get in that door. One is... Bars a lockpick. Uh, yeah. Oop. Take those. A white necklace. Take this lock though, can I? Nope. All right. We can have to go around outside. Bacon. All 
There's an arrow there. Use the arrow wheel, select the blunt arrow, and shoot it at the weak wall. There we go. You can see it makes a bunch of noise. And some vibrations. And here we go. And I believe there is, yeah, there's a crafting thing here. Crafting box, claw arrowhead. So this tells you how to craft arrows. Do you know how to craft arrows? There's a guy walking around over that other side, though. Careful. So, here's where we get into the crafting stuff. So, what you do is you've got the arrow here, right? And you pick what arrowhead you want. Wall arrowhead. You pick the shaft. Here you can see it's put there. And then any element that you might want. In this case, rope. Because we want to make a rope uh, um, arrow. And then you craft it. And then that goes into your recipe. So you can kind of discover recipes this way by... Mixing and matching something. Rather good. I, I like it. You can use the rope arrow to climb platforms. You can see the platform has a little rope icon, rope thing on it. Looks like uh, stuff from the newer Tomb Raiders. There you go. There you go. Put that. Just uh, real quick. Let me look around here. No, there's nothing there except, except the fence. Okay. Come up. up. Face the hang. Get around there and then face to get back up. Whoops. Okay, that was that's weird. It pushed me off the <laughs> it pushed me off the thing there. There is a window here to get in, though. No? Ah, there we go. Peek in there. Nobody's around, and just pop on in. Give me another bandage. And some more crafting stuff. Normal arrowhead. I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a enemy down the other corridor there. And they gave me some normal arrows in order to kind of snuff out some of these handles. Being steen. So, normal arrowhead. Clear. Oh, yeah, that's weird. That was a little, little bug there. Wood shaft. That's good. Okay, craft. Normal, normal arrows. So is that why I got selected? Yeah, I got normal arrows selected.
What are required for that? Okay. Who's there? Oh. oh, I got him, but I'm also bleeding. So we gotta go this, you. There we go. Yeah, it was not. I was trying to use the arrows to get those, uh, lights out, but uh, it wasn't, that wasn't working out too well. As you saw. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about trying to hide that body. I don't think anyone's going to come back in that little area there. Dead. I believe there is another enemy up here. Or over there, I should say. Yeah. Now, as far as I can see, you can't, like, jump down and take them out. Well, I mean, you can, but you have to literally I jump down. For a drink. And do this. Like, you can't, like, death from above them. It's a bit unfortunate, but... It is what it is. Trying to make this a little bit darker. A little bit. A little tiny bit. Okay. Get the uh, back up where we were. Can you give me a Looks like it needs a lockpick. Actually, really, I can get in there from above here. Just jump up on this. A little bit, a little bit janky movement-wise, but we're getting there. Jumping, that is. Everything else has been pretty good. Beast. Go. Crafting stuff. Come on. Come on. Here's what I said where it's like, it's hard to target the things you're looking, trying, to, trying to get to. Uh, oh, it looks like we have some uh, lockpicks there. Awesome. Now, the one thing I have not done in the game yet is actually pick a lock. Uh, which we just did there. Okay. Wasn't that exciting. And this requires a key. But, uh, I also think, yeah, there's somebody coming that way. I could go for a drink. Right. Wait for our opportunity. A little nippy tonight. Yeah, see, that time I only tapped Q, but it choked him out instead of killing him. So, yeah, that is one of the things that I've noticed. But now we've, uh, this door, we can just toss, this, toss him in here. Everything off of there. Yeah, it looks like, like I did. 
All right. Well, like I said, I gotta, I gotta time box myself because I will I will continue playing this <laughs> for a while yet. Uh, this map is rather large and it still uh, has uh, some twisted turns to it uh, to uh, actually teach you some things. But we gotta here's our inventory. You see, seven dollars worth worth of stuff. There's a whole skill thing here uh, that uh, I don't even get into right now. Um, increase inventory space, chest breaker. Um, you know, we got our journal and stuff. Um, so lots of stuff, lots of cool, cool stuff. I, you know, if it's not obvious, I am super enjoying this. I will, I, this is definitely on my list <laughs> of things to come back to and take a look at and, uh, and play and, and buy and all that stuff. Uh, so I'll, I will be keeping an eye out for this. It's on my wish list now. Um, but, uh, that, there you have it, friends. That is Winter Ember. It is by Sky Machine Studios and published by Blow, Blowfish Studios. And it is, uh, scheduled for some sort of release. I don't know if it's going to be early access or otherwise, uh, quarter two of this year. And I, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to that. I, I hope that I've gotten a lot of you guys interested too, because, uh, it's really good. Uh, it's really, really good. Like I've gone through quite a few demos in the Steam Next Fest here, and uh, they're all of varying degrees of of um, development. This is uh, super smooth. I like it's definitely on the higher end of things here, and rather, rather good, rather good. Anyway, as always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks. So much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.